Next up, we have Mr. Lloyd Romick. <clears throat> I'd like to address a letter I received from Dr. Lyapa. In a FOIA request, I had requested the names, salaries, and job titles of the employees in the district. In this letter, he tells me that they will provide me the names and salaries of the employees of the district, but that somehow, if he were to give me the job titles, he'd have to create a brand new record. I've called up to the Attorney General's office and spoke with their FOIA expert. And her response was that it was ridiculous. How is it that you can release the names and salaries but turn around and try to say that, gosh, the job titles those have got to be top secret. Further, he talks about having limited resources with which to, and, and wanting to stay within the confines of the law. Do those limited resources, are they better used in providing information to the public which we are due under the law, or in paying an attorney firm tens of thousands of dollars to review and try to find ways to deny FOIA requests? Finally, the last part that's moderately annoying. He says, you have freely shared this public information in the community. Is there something wrong with freely sharing public information? By definition, it belongs to the public. That's the point of the FOIA law. <clears throat> Thank you. Mr. Romick, his name is Dr. Liapa. And I'd like you to make sure you address him as Dr. Leopa. That is his name. And you know that? Awesome. Did he say in his letter that job titles were top secret? I gave you a copy of the letter. The no, letter doesn't not. say job titles are top secret. No, so it's I'm wrong asking of you what? to interpret that to the public. No, his I, letter did not say that. Would you that. like to read it, ma'am? And by the way, no. are we're now having, we do now allow during audits and communication uh, back and forth Mr. dialogue? Mr. Roman, no, if we I'm, I'm addressing you on this. Oh, by all means. Thank you. I'm done, Mrs. Markarian. You may go forward. Thank you. Any further comments? <clears throat> Certainly, I'll address that. In regards to why do I call Dr. Liapa? Dr. There is Liapa. no reasoning, Mrs. Markarian. His name is Dr. Liapa. There's no reason for anything different. It's and done. My, you asked me why, ma'am. Would you now? No, I didn't me? ask you why. I corrected this pronunciation of his name. That's all I did. His name is Dr. Liapa. Thank you. Indeed, Dr. Liapa. His name is Dr. Leopold, Mr. Romick. Understood? Thank you, Mr. Romick. We all understand the intent no, of your inquiry. No, ma'am. Not understood whatsoever. <clears throat> with the whole point, I suppose I could walk around with a sign that says, Randy lies. I choose, as a matter of rather mild public disobedience, to point out that I have been lied to on more occasions than I can count, I simply decide to pronounce it. Call it truth in advertising. Have a good day. Thank you for your comments. You're welcome. Unbelievable. It's it's my understanding that the information that we give um, based on FOIA requests is uh, reviewed by a lawyer for appropriateness, and um, it, we are required to provide information in the format that it is contained and um, not required to create new formats to fulfill a, a FOIA request. And Dr. Le Leopold, do you have any? <laughs> yes, uh, certainly job titles are not top secret. Uh, uh, we can provide a list of job titles, but it will be done based on the format that we have it in, and that's what we've clearly said 
And uh, we've clearly said that we want to be cooperative in requests. Certainly salary information is not top secret, and I didn't ever suggest that anything's wrong with sharing that. We know that it is shared, and it is public information. And so we don't have an issue with that. We, we follow the law. If we have a report, we provide the information. We do not have a report that has salary, name, and uh, uh, well, name, salary, and job title. We said what we do have, and we'd be happy to provide that information. 